Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making some healthy lunches. They're really quick and easy to make and take less than five minutes. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and let's get into it. So the first thing we're making are these pesto zoodles. So I'm gonna start off by making some ribbons out of my zucchini. You could spiralize it as well, but I've been really liking ribbon zucchini. And I like zucchini because it's full of lutein and vitamin C, making it great for your heart. It also helps to decrease cholesterol and your blood pressure as well. Plus, the peel is loaded with beta carotene, which really helps to decrease the oxidative stress in your body. So you don't want to not eat the peel. This is definitely a vegetable where you want to eat the peel because it's loaded with benefits. So I mixed up using some yellow and some green zucchini. And then I'm just going to toss that into a bowl so that we can mix it all together. And this is also something you can make a batch of and keep it for the week. I'm chopping up some leftover chicken that I have. You can use whatever kind of protein that you have, like leftovers or lying around. I always try to have protein in the fridge that I can just throw into different dishes, which makes it really easy to make lunches really quickly. Protein is what helps to keep you full, so it's really gonna shut down those hunger hormones. Then I'm adding in some pesto. You can make your own, but I found this dairy-free one that makes it super easy to make a lunch out of. I threw some sliced almonds on top, which are loaded with vitamin E, and they have a healthy fat. And it's that combo of the healthy fats from the pesto, the nuts, and then the protein from the chicken that really helps to satisfy and turn off those hunger hormones and also helps to keep your blood sugar stable because you guys know I am about keeping your blood sugar stable. It is super, super important just for overall health, but also to reduce any kind of cravings for food or sugar cravings. So it's a super easy and delicious lunch to make and the fresh herbs are delicious in this too. Next up, I'm making my spin on a tabbouleh salad. So I'm using purple cauliflower and I just love the color of purple cauliflower. It's full of anthocyanins, which is great antioxidant. It's a basically a flavonoid that helps to decrease oxidative stress in the body. It's super good for you. And cauliflower is loaded with choline, which is good for brain health. And you guys know how I am about brain health and how much I love cauliflower. I mean, what kind of video would this be if I didn't make something out of cauliflower, right? I feel like cauliflower is all the craze this, these days and purple cauliflower is just so fun. I think I'm going to try making my cauliflower gnocchi out of purple cauliflower just for like a colorful twist. So you chop that up or you can just buy rice cauliflower as well. Totally depends on you if you want to chop it yourself or just buy it pre either riced or cut. So you just throw that into a bowl and what I love about this one is you can make a big batch of this and then eat it throughout the week. So I'm throwing in some slaw mix that just has some carrots, some cabbage, just for some extra crunch and something different. Also some black beans which are super high in fiber and are going to be the protein in this recipe. I'm chopping up some parsley which is a great antimicrobial and it's also loaded with calcium so it helps with bone health and it's also something that's loaded with vitamin C. Lots of this stuff is loaded with vitamin C guys but we're coming into September, people are getting sick, it's going to be change of season so you can't go wrong loading up on the vitamin C. So you kind of just coarsely chop the parsley and then you put that into your bowl and that's another thing I love about this salad, you just throw everything to a bowl, mix it and you're going to be good to go. I'm throwing in some sunflower seeds which really help to support digestion plus they're loaded with magnesium as well so they're great for relaxing your muscles and for keeping your nerves steady as well. You can totally do any kind of nut or seed here but adding in that fat like I said before is really going to help keep that blood sugar stable. So you just mix that all together and then I'm throwing in some olive oil and some lemon juice and this is a salad that can sit with the olive oil and lemon juice for a couple days so you can make a big batch and then eat it for a few days afterwards. Another thing I like to do is take a little bit of garlic ghee, this is the fourth and heart one, and then I saute that with some of the salad. So I like this salad because you can have it either hot or cold. It's kind of like a hot or cold slaw. It kind of just depends on my mood and what I'm craving, whether I want something warm or cold, but it's very versatile and I love that it's super refreshing, filling, and you can make a big batch. And lastly, we're making my twist on an egg salad. So I cooked two eggs to medium boiled. I'm just a medium boiled type of person. I'm not one for hard boiled eggs, so I did medium boil. And I'm just cutting that up with a knife into chunks. And eggs are actually a complete protein because they have all the essential amino acids you need in them. 
I'm adding in a quarter of an avocado, which really adds some nice creaminess. And again, those healthy fats coupled with the protein really help to keep blood sugar stable. And keeping blood sugar stable is really what helps cravings, what helps you not to binge eat, and also just is great for your mood as well and any kind of metabolism and weight loss. So I kind of just cut those two together and mix it. And then I'm adding in some turmeric. Turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory, also great for the digestive system. Some black pepper, which helps the absorption of the curcumin in turmeric. Some ground ginger for flavor and digestion, as well as a pinch of paprika. That really just goes well in a lot of egg and egg salad dishes, so I put a little bit of that in. Mix it together, and it's super something you can make easily that is not going to take too long. You just boil the eggs, and you will be good to go. So once that's mixed together, you can put this in a sandwich if you want, but I like putting it in like these bib lettuce cups and either eating it with bib lettuce or I pair it with like a cucumber and crackers and kind of dip that in to the mixture and eat it like that. So this time I'm putting it with some cucumbers. Because of the high water content in cucumbers, they really help to fill you up, but you get all the super hydrating vitamins and minerals. And then I also added a crunchy crisp bread to dip in it as well. And I love making this egg salad as a super quick lunch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what one was your fave down in the description box below. And leave me any requests you have too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.